Well, here we see a coronary artery that's been cut open at post-mortem. And I think you can see there's a dark area of thrombus there, occluding the coronary artery. And here we see the longitudinal nature of the thrombus. It's blocking off a length of the artery. So it's not surprising that there's no blood can get from here down into the distal artery and therefore the area of myocardium normally supplied by that artery will be completely occluded and infarcted. And this is red thrombus. It will cause a complete occlusion, infarction, and this will cause a STEMI, ST elevation, myocardial infarction. And it's just a pity that no one got this thrombus out before it caused the death of this patient. The area of myocardium here was infarcted. There is electrical instability as the myocardial cells started to die. That caused ventricular fibrillation all around the myocardium and the resuscitation facilities weren't available and this patient was actually admitted dead into hospital care, unfortunately. Now here we see some thrombus that was successfully removed from a coronary artery during the PCI process, percutaneous coronary intervention. It was sucked out and I think here you can see there's areas of white thrombus and we know that this white thrombus is platelet-rich thrombus. And this white thrombus is often associated with unstable angina and non-ST elevation myocardial infarction because it tends to cause an in incomplete blockage of a coronary artery. But here we can actually see areas of red, red thrombus as well. And this patient actually did have an ST elevation myocardial infarction. He came into the PCI suite looking very ill indeed, in a great deal of pain. And after this was sucked out of his coronary artery, the area of myocardium which was infarcted was reperfused. And he felt and looked an awful lot better just a few minutes after this thrombus was sucked out of his occluded coronary artery. A successful rescue PCI. But an interesting slide because it shows white as well as red thrombus. Now th this shot shows fairly typical red thrombus which has been removed and it looks kind of like a slug because as we saw before there's it's a longitudinal thrombus. So this was blocking a length of coronary artery on either side and when this was removed during PCI the blood supply was restored and much of the myocardium rescued. And here we see another one, again it looks a bit like a slug, a longitudinal thrombus sucked out from the coronary artery during the PCI procedure.